Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. In the chat room at live.perlo.com, me and you, that's his name, or her name, uh, asked a question about Windows Vista. Seems that me and you is having a problem, literally, I, I suppose, with uh, sound inside of, of Microsoft's new operating system. He's specifically having an issue with uh, not being able to control the level of treble or bass that, are, that is coming through his sound card. Whereas he was able to fully control it in XP, he can no longer do it in Windows Vista. This could be for a variety of reasons, but my guess is, is it boils down to the driver. So it doesn't matter uh, what sound card you have, if your manufacturer isn't supporting Vista all the way through, it, you're not going to have a very good experience. Oddly enough, the sound card that was built into my motherboard was fully recognized by Windows Vista, and while I can't control the treble or, or bass in it, it was better supported in Vista than it was inside of XP. Uh, and it, again, it's, it was a, it's a high definition sound card that's built into the motherboard. It's an Asus uh, motherboard. So without driver support, you're not going to be able to have the same kind of control as you would if you did have the proper driver support. So your, 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 your only bet really is having treble or bass control on the actual speakers or in some kind of hardware itself, not necessarily the hardware inside the computer or on the sound card. Another thing happened with Windows Vista that a lot of people aren't really aware of, and they've certainly run into issues because of this. Uh, Microsoft got rid of, for whatever reason, and they're, I'm sure the reasons are very clear and lucid in their mind, they got rid of the hardware abstraction layer, also known as HAL, and that would basically allow all the sound, the direct sound, to pass through the sound card, the hardware, freeing up the CPU to do other things. They got rid of that. So the drivers that used to work suddenly don't work, and the apps that used to rely on HAL no longer work. Very 2001-ish, I guess. Um, so in some, in some ways, in some cases, uh, the manufacturers of sound cards haven't had a chance to catch up, even though they've had time to catch up with Vista. This was a, it's a pretty huge change, you know. Uh, and again, it was probably done for smart reasons, at least in Microsoft's mind, but it's, it's caused a lot of turmoil. If you really miss the treble and bass control, um, you may have to use XP for the time being. You know, I've gone through my personal hell with uh, Vista and XP, uh, as I've detailed for hours on end on YouTube and, well, across the internet. Um, you've really got to wait. Uh, find out what your sound card manufacturer is doing and how often they're updating or when they plan their next update. You may try some beta drivers if, if they give you access to the software that used to work in XP inside of Vista. Uh, you never know. Uh, so that's probably what it boils down to. I wish I had a better answer.